everyone, I'm Jazzy Ash, and my friends at Redlands Bowl asked me if I could sing some songs with you today. And of course I said yes, so why don't you come on in and we'll sing together. Jazzy Ash, and I'm so glad you flew in. Welcome to my window. I'm going to sing some African American folk songs for you today. And some of these songs might be songs you've never heard, but some of them will be songs you know very well. You just might not know where they came from. So let's start with a song like that. The first song we'll sing is a song called She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. You know it, right? <laughs> I thought so. But you might not know that it has this West African music tradition called call and response singing. So that means that one person will start the singing, that'll be me as the caller, and everyone else responds. So for example, in this song, we start with, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, and everyone else sings, when she comes, right? And you have some uh, hand motions to do too. So when I sing, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, you go, when she comes, and twirl your arm in the air like that, right? The next one is, whoa, back. So you'll take both your hands and pull back the reins and sing, whoa, back. And the next one will be, hey girl. So you'll wave your hand in the air like this, or like this, hey girl. <laughs> this is, she'll be coming around the mountain. is 
so fun. And did you know it was adapted from a spiritual, which is kind of like a church song called When the Chariot Comes? Have you ever taken a song that you knew and changed the lyrics to sing something about something else? Well, that's what happened with this song. There were some railroad workers in the late 1800s and they were working on a railroad and they knew this original song and the original lyrics were, Oh, who will drive the chariot when he comes? And they changed the lyrics to, She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes to sing about the train that would be coming around the mountain after they were finished building the railroad. And that's the history of those lyrics. And speaking about workers, this next song is a worker song. And that means that it was meant to be for people who were working really, really hard. And they use these kind of songs to help them work better. So this particular song is called Pick a Bale of Cotton. And it was probably performed in the original form in the early 1800s. So back then there was no such thing as a radio or an iPhone to play music on. So they would make up their own songs. And they weren't all just about the things they were doing, but they would particularly make them with a very strong, steady rhythm so that they could continue doing their work. So this song is called Pick a Bale of Cotton. And let's see if you can also hear about how they felt about doing all this hard work. God jumped down, spin around, pick a bale of cotton. just about everyday life. So this next song is about losing a turkey. Now maybe you've never lost a turkey, but maybe you've lost another kind of pet or animal. And uh, just like call and response was in our earlier song, which was coming around the mountain, call and response will happen in this song too. So it'll be like this. Every time I sing something like little boys, little girls, you're gonna sing, yes ma'am. Did you go to the barn? And you sing, yes ma'am, and so on until I get to the part where I say, which way did he go? And you'll sing, so, so, which sort of means like, I don't know, maybe he went that way, maybe that way. And then I'll ask, will you help me catch him? And you sing, yes, ma'am. And that will be leading me into the next section, which will be the shoe turkey, shoe, shoe, shoe turkey, shoe, shoe section. <laughs> and at that point, I want you to dance around like a turkey. And I want you to shoo the turkey back into the barn. All right, here we go. Shoo, 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 shoo
you the bone? Yes, ma'am. Did you see my turkey? Yes, ma'am. Is my turkey gone? Yes, ma'am. Which way did it go? So, so, could you help me catch it? Yes, ma'am. Shoot, 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 Early African Americans weren't allowed to bring their musical instruments with them from Africa, but some Africans brought with them a wonderful music tradition called juba, and that's where you use your body as a percussion instrument. And here in America, folks started adding lyrics to the juba rhythms. And one great example of that is a song called Hambone. And Hambone is usually performed with a very complicated hand clapping rhythm, but I'm gonna teach you a very simple way to do it. So the first move is hitting your leg on an upward motion like this. We'll call that move one. You try it, ready? The next move is you're gonna hit your chest like this. That's move two. And the third one is going downward on the same thigh like this. That's three. So it's one, two, three. Now let's do it in a pattern without stopping like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. So there's seven beats there. Let's try it again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And when you put it all together, it sounds like this. Now I'm going to show you a video of me performing this in the studio with my very good friend, Uncle Devin, who's a handbone master. Let's see if you can sing along and clap along with us. One, two, ready, and... If you think about it, we're still inventing and singing folk songs today. So here's a folk song that was created by children on a playground sometime around the turn of the 20th century. And it's been shared countless times across the United States since then. And it's called Miss Mary Mac. Maybe you've heard of it. And um, if you don't remember, there's a hand clapping rhythm that goes along with this song. And I'm going to teach it to you right now. So the first thing you're going to do is cross your chest like this and then tap your legs. You cross your chest and tap your legs. That's the first two moves. Now this is usually done with a partner. So if you have a partner, you're gonna clap your own hands and then clap your right hands together with your partner, clap your own hands, and then clap your left hand with your partner, then clap your own hands and clap both your hands together. So if you put it all together, it looks like this. Cross, down, clap, 
right, clap, left, clap, bow, cross, down, clap, right, clap, left, clap, bow, cross, down, clap, right, clap, left, clap, both, cross, down, clap, right, clap, left, clap, both. And when I recorded the song in the studio, I invited my student Mabel to join me in the clapping rhythm. So let's see if you can follow along and do it with us. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all the rest. sing you a lullaby. I have dear friends that are having a baby soon and they decided to name her Nkiru. In the Nigerian language of Igbo, her name means the future is brighter. Isn't that beautiful? I love her name and it reminds me so much of this lullaby because it's not just a song to help a baby go to sleep. The lyrics are about having a hope for the future and it's called All the Pretty Little Horses.
Thank you so much for spending a little time with me and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, little birds.